Of course, during this pandemic, we've seen a lot of folks uh, unite and provide help where it's really needed. One way they are doing that is through crafting. Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller shares the story of two women who are sewing to provide COVID protection in their communities. Wendy Morell of Marco Island, Florida, has been giving her sewing machine a workout since late March. That's when she heard hospitals in her community desperately needed PPE in mass quantities. She couldn't do all of the sewing, cutting, and ironing herself, so she recruited volunteers, which now top more than 100 women and men. It was amazing. Uh, to date, we've done over 16,000. So we've been uh, fully supporting our five local hospitals, and we've also sent out 6,000 to different hotspots throughout the country. For her efforts, Michael's Arts and Crafts recognized Morell as what the craft chain calls a difference maker, someone crafting for a cause during the coronavirus crisis. This slide. Trista Kutcher is also a difference maker. I like to be a difference maker and be someone's sunshine to brighten everyone's day. She started her business, Trista's Sunshine Company, last year in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. But rather than seek profit during this pandemic, she donated hundreds of headbands made of colorful, fun fabric to help minimize face rash caused by the masks frontliners wear. I made these um, awesome headbands, and I just wanted to show them and just be comfortable. As someone with Down syndrome, Kutcher wants us to know that people with all abilities can be a crafter and help bring the positive to this pandemic. Morell couldn't agree more. We are just so honored and happy to help our country in this way and our um, frontline workers in, in such a small and simple way. In Wilkesbury, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News. You can head over to our website, pahomepage.com, to learn how to nominate a crafter that you know as a Michael's Difference Maker.